Hi guys, it's me Lynn again, and I'm going to be sharing with you um, a book from my library called Amelia Bedelia Hits the Trail. Amelia Bedelia Hits the Trail. Amelia Bedelia is going hiking. Her entire quest was going to... Let's hit the trail, said Miss Edwards, Amelia Bedelia's teacher. The trail was steep. Everyone stepped over a big tree rail. Amelia Bedelia was chatting and looked up at the birds and splat. Amelia Bedelia fell flat on her face. Are you okay? asked Miss Edwards. I'm okay, said Amelia Bedelia. But next time I'll, I hit the trail, I'll use this stick instead of my face. Amelia Bedelia and her friends spotted lots of living things along the trail. They saw a deer and a rabbit. They saw squirrels and chipmunks. They saw insects crawling along the ground and flying in the air. Birds chirped in the trees. When a snake cr crossed the trail, Chip let, let out a yell. Relax, said Penny. It is more scared of you than you are scared of it. The class walked slowly. Let's move a little faster, said Miss Edwards. Pick up your snail. Amelia Bedelia looked for a snail um, with a pass to pick up. Maybe she could find one for the classroom nature table. I'm hungry, said Quay. Can we eat lunch? Miss Edwards read her map. There was a stream ahead, she said. We can stop there for a bite. I have lots of bites, said Amelia Bedelia. <clears throat> I can see water, said Penny. The class raced to the stream. We'll eat lunch on the bank. Dig in, said Miss Edwards. Amelia Bedelia didn't see a bank or even a cash machine. Was there buried treasure here? Why else would Miss Edwards tell him to dig in? It was time to go back to school. Wad was the last to finish his lunch. Let's go, Wad said. Miss Edwards. Yay, said Amelia Bedelia. Amelia Bedelia took off her shoes and socks and wadded right into the stream. Soon everyone went splashing with Amelia Bedelia. Even Miss Edwards joined in the fun. As they walked back, everyone found things for the nature table. Daisy picked a daisy. Holly plucked a spring of holly. Rose found a wild rose. Amelia Bedelia picked up fallen leaves. Why did you find, what did you find, Amelia Bedelia, asked Miss Edwards. These are my leaves, said Amelia Bedelia. Miss Edwards smiled. When you have more than one leaf, you say leaves, said Amelia. She said, that made sense to Amelia Bedelia. In the fall, every leaf had had to leave its tree. Amelia Bedelia knew 
she would not think of any of a leaf falling off it, a tree. She would think of it leaving its tree. Nice leaf, said Skip. You have maple, oak, and chestnut, he said. Skip knew a lot about trees. Was what is the red one? asked Amelia Bedelia. Uh oh, said Skip. That one is poison ivy. Yeah! Amelia Bedelia threw the leaves up in the air. Her leaves were leaving again. Skip laughed so hard he fell on the ground. I was joking, he said. Amelia Bedelia was not laughing. That was a mean trick, she said. Maybe you should take a hike, said Skip. I am, said Amelia Bedelia. And now I don't have anything for the nature table. Amelia Bedelia's lip trembled. I'm sorry, Amelia Bedelia, said Skip. He helped Amelia Bedelia pick up her leaves. Hold it, said Skip. Are you teasing again? Asked Amelia Bedelia. No, you have a hitchhiker, said Skip. He pointed at a caterpillar. The caterpillar was crawling on Amelia Bedelia's backpack. Wow, said Amelia Bedelia. Amelia Bedelia's caterpillar was the star of the nature table. Then it was the star of Amelia Bedelia's classroom. Until it hit the trail. If you like this video, comment down below in the comment section if you like butterflies. Bye-bye. See you later.